Hi, welcome to Mathematics. In this video, we want to solve for x in x raised to the power 3 divided by 2 equals 3 raised to the power 3 divided by 2. So let's see solution. We have x raised to the power 3 divided by 2 equals 3 raised to the power 3 divided by 2. So from here, let's transfer this to this side. So we have x raised to the power 3 divided by 2 minus 3 raised to the power 3 divided by 2 equals 0. Right? So let's recall that if you have k raised to the power a raised to the power b from product power law, when number which is equal to a certain power, is again raised to another power, the powers are multiplied. So we have k, a times b will give us a, b, right? So this implies that we have this, s raised to the power 3, raised to the power 1, divided by 2, so that if you multiply this, you are going to get this back. Minus 3 raised to the power 3, raised to the power 1, divided by 2, equals 0, right? So here we have, s is to power 1 over 2, you can check them, is to power 3, minus 3 raised to power 1 divided by 2, is to power 3 equals 0. This means that square root of x is to power 3, minus square root of 3 is to power 3 equals 0, right? And to simplify this, let's recall that a raised to the power 3 minus b raised to the power 3. When we have this, this is equals to a minus b multiplied by a square, right? Plus a b plus b square. So applying this to this, we we'll have our square root of x, right? raised to power 3 minus square root of 3 raised to power 3 equals square root of x minus square root of 3 multiplied by square root of x square right plus square root of x times square root of 3 plus square root of 3 square equals 0. So here we observe this, we cancel this, and this we cancel this. So we have square root of x minus square root of 3, right? So multiply by what is left here, x plus root x times root 3, so that will give us square root of 3x plus what is left here, that is 3 equals zero so what this means is we have this equals zero and this equals zero so we have square root of x minus square root of 3 equals zero or x plus square root of 3x plus 3 equals zero so we have this to be square root of x equals square root of 3 so and to obtain our x here we have to square both sides so we have s square equals square root of 3 square. So this we cancel this. So we have x to be this square we cancel this square root as well. So we have x equals 3. And for this here we will have square root of 3x equals let's transfer this. So we have minus x minus 3. So and to cancel this square root so we have to square both sides as well. So 3x square equals minus x minus 3 square. So we know this square, we cancel this square root, so we have 3x equals minus x minus 3 square. But let's recall that if we have a minus b square, this is equals a square minus 2ab plus b square right 
so therefore we have this three we have three x three x equals minus x square minus two minus x times three plus three square right so we have three x equals this will be x square plus six x plus nine right so therefore we have let's just transfer this here so we have x square right plus six x plus nine then minus 3x so here we have x square plus 6x minus 3x will give us 3x plus 9 so you observe that this is a quadratic equation so we have to solve this quadratically so this is equal to 0 and from here we declare that our a coefficient of x square is 1 our b coefficient of x is 3 and our c constant is 9 so our quadratic formula is giving us x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a right so let's substitute these values into this so we have x equals minus b that is minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square minus 4 times 1 times 9 divided by 2 times 1 so we have x equals minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square will give us 9 minus 4 times 1 will give us minus 4 times 1 minus 4 times 9 that will give us minus 36 right i hope i'm right so 2 times 1 is 2 so x equals minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 36 that will give us minus 27 right divided by 2 so we have x to be equals minus 30 plus or minus this can be expressed as 27 times minus 1 right divided by 2 so we have x to be minus 30 plus or minus this will be 27 can be expressed as 9 times 30 then we have times minus 1 divided by 2 so we have x equals minus 30 plus or minus square root of 9 times square root of 3 times square root of minus 1 divided by 2 so we have x equals minus 30 plus or minus square root of 9 will give us 30 times root 3 so that is 30 root 3 and uh, here let's recall that our high equal to square root of minus 1 so we have high here times high divided by 2 so we have x to be minus 30 plus or minus 30 root 30 high divided by 2 so we see we have 3 in comma here so we have to factorize it out let's say 3 then we have minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3 high divided by 2 so we have x to be equals 3 minus 1 plus square root of 3i divided by 2 or x equals 3 minus 1 minus square root of 3i divided by 2 but don't forget that we already got in our, our x1 to be that's 3 right so therefore our x2 will be 3 open bracket minus 1 plus square root of 3i divided by 2 and uh, our x3 will be equals 3 times minus 1 minus square root of 3i divided by 2 so this is our answer thank you for watching my great one you can also send super to support this channel it helps me to create more content you love i see every super thanks and i will make sure to give you a shout out in my next video once again thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video kindly like and leave a comment and don't forget to share with your friends and network do well to also subscribe to my channel to stay updated on my next video
बाय